Hi, it's Carrie. Today we've got wild animals, prehistoric animals and reptiles. Give a thumbs up if you like wild animals. Can you tell me how many snakes are in today's video? There's a fun ending today as well. Remember to subscribe and share my video with your friends. Thank you. Smilogen, commonly known as the saber-toothed tiger, lived about two and a half to 10,000 million years ago. It reminds me of Diego from the Ice Age movie. Smilogen was not really a tiger, although very distantly related to the modern day cheetah, tiger and lion. I love its teeth. Their massive curved canines grew to about 12 inches or 30 centimeters long. The sun bear. The shy sun bear is the smallest member of the bear family and lives in the dense lowland forests of Southeast Asia. They're named because of the gold or white patch on their chest. They have a sturdy muscular build, small ears and a short muzzle. They have an extremely long tongue for extracting honey from bees nests. That gives them the nickname honey bear sometimes. Their glossy black coat is short to avoid overheating in the tropical weather but thick and coarse to provide protection from twigs, branches and rain. Ah, here's the baby. Sun bears grow to only about half the size of an American black bear. They live and sleep mainly in the forest trees. They like to eat fruit, berries, roots, insects, small birds, lizards and rodents. Their excellent sense of smell and extremely long 4 inch or 10 centimeter claws are used to rip open trees and termite nests. The white lion. A recessive gene gives white lions their unusual colors. A similar gene also produces white tigers. Most of their population is found in zoos where they are bred, although they used to be found in the wild. Being white in colour causes problems. You can't really hide and camouflage yourself when you're after prey. The white lioness and her cub. The lion's teeth are well adapted for killing their prey and eating it. The great canine teeth are spaced such that they can slip between the cervical vertebrae of their favourite sized prey animals and sever the spinal cord. Their tongue is covered with rough spines called papillae. This helps the lion scrape meat off the bones and acts like a comb for grooming. Giant Panda. Pandas live in the bamboo forests of western China and like to climb trees. Their main food source is bamboo and they will spend around 12 hours a day eating bamboo. They will sometimes eat shoots, leaves, stalks and berries. They have a strong jawbone and teeth to help them crunch through the bamboo. female giant panda and her cub. Pandas are quite distinctive with their black and white fur. I really like the black circles around their eyes. They have great eyesight. Pandas are shy and often keep to themselves. They stay away from people. Pandas have five fingers on each hand and use their wrist bone to help hold the bamboo. The 
Kiamua leopard is a subspecies of the leopard. They live in forests in the colder regions of the Russian Far East and Northeast China. They have slightly longer legs than other leopards. This may be to help them to walk in the snow. Their long thick coats are marked with widely spaced rosettes that have thick rings with dark centres. In the winter, their fur grows to over 7 centimetres to prevent them from getting cold in summer their fur is around 2.5 centimetres in length. They like to eat deer, hares and other small and medium sized mammals. A really nice looking leopard. Leopard. Leopards hunt prey at night. A leopard protects its food from other animals by dragging it high up into the trees to eat later when they are hungry. Leopards can also have black fur with dark spots as well as the more common golden spotted fur. Their coat helps camouflage them up in the trees. They can spring forward with a deadly pounce and land on their prey. They are also good stalkers in the long grass. The leopard cub. A leopard's body is designed for hunting. They are fast, sleek and powerful. Excellent swimmers, climbers and can leap and jump long distances. In short bursts, they can run up to 35 miles per hour or 57 kilometers per hour. They live mostly in sub-Saharan Africa with small numbers also found in India, Pakistan, Malaysia, China and Indochina. leopard cubs. They only weigh one pound at birth which is half a kilogram and open their eyes around 10 days later. They rely on their mother who is called a leopardess for everything. The leopardess gives birth to two to six cubs at a time. Cubs suckle for around three months and are kept hidden for about the first eight weeks to protect them from predators. Boa or boa constrictor. They are one of the largest snakes in the world along with the reticulated python and anaconda. Boas are non-poisonous but just as deadly. Boa constrictor. They ambush their prey, which means that they will hide and wait for something tasty to go by and then do a surprise attack. Green anaconda is a member of the boa family and is the largest and heaviest known snake. Their diameter can be up to 12 inches or 30 centimeters across. The anaconda hunts on land and in the water but prefers water where it can move with ease. It can stay underwater for 10 minutes before coming to the surface to breathe. To ambush prey, they line the water with just their eyes and nostrils out of the water. Like other constrictors, they grab its victim, wrap its body around the prey and squeeze it until it dies from suffocation. Smilodon. The teeth grew to about 12 inches but were not very strong and were brittle and could break off easily. Smilodon would have used its long teeth to puncture or stab an animal with a bite to the belly or neck. It would have been the most ferocious and therefore the apex predator within its environment so it had no natural predators on the American plains.
The saber-toothed tiger or Smilodon is one of the most well-known prehistoric animals along with the woolly mammoth. Saber-toothed tigers roam the Midwestern US and parts of both North and South America. The saber-toothed tiger had a powerful muscular body which meant that it could quickly catch and pounce on its prey before using its knife-like teeth to cause the fatal blow. The rhinoceros. They have thick protective skin but it can be quite sensitive to sunburn and insect bites which is why they like to wallow so much. When the mud dries, it acts as protection from the sunburn and insects. Binos live in savanna, shrub and tropical bush areas. They eat leaves, bushes, small tree branches and shoots. Rhinos are large mammals, only second in size to the elephant. They can charge at speeds of up to 38 miles per hour or 64 kilometers for short periods of time. This is an Indian rhinoceros. The Indian rhinoceros has a segmented hide which looks like a coat of body armour. Flexible skin between the thicker hide plates allows them to move as the rhinoceros walks. Indian rhinos only have one horn. They have sharp hearing and a keen sense of smell. It has a special lip that can grasp tall grass. Rhinos like to eat fruit, leaves and farm crops. The rhinoceros. I really like this new jumbo rhinoceros. Rhinos are short-sighted and bad-tempered, which makes them very dangerous. They'll charge at full force and use their horns to kill or injure whatever annoys them. There are two species of rhino in Africa, the black rhino and the white rhino. Although they are both grey, there's just a different type of lip for eating the type of vegetation where they live. Crocodile babies. They hatch from eggs. Nests are built on the water's edge from sand, mud and weeds and are really just shallow holes. A crocodile egg is about the size of a goose egg. The babies get themselves out of the eggs using their egg tooth. They're about 8 inches or 20 centimetres long when they're born. Crocodile. Crocodiles are reptiles that have very sharp teeth and powerful jaws. They are carnivores and hunt fish, birds, frogs and crustaceans. They live in tropical areas because they are cold blooded. The largest saltwater crocodile found was over 20 feet or 6 meters long. When their snouts are shut they look like they are grinning with the fourth tooth on each side of the lower jaw sticking up over the upper lip. I like the colour of this one and look at those sharp teeth. They like to lie submerged in the water with just their eyes and nostrils out, waiting for their next tasty meal. The 
Nile crocodile. Crocodiles kill roughly 3,000 people a year with hundreds of fatal attacks caused by the Nile crocodile in sub-Saharan Africa. Crocodiles have very strong and powerful jaws. The Jumbo Crocodile. It's quite flexible and quite light and you can push against it and it's soft. I really like this one and it's great for young people too. woolly mammoth calf. Their ears were lined with fur and they had a layer of fat to keep them warm and to reduce the risk of frostbite. These large mammals lived during the last ice age and may have died off when the weather became warmer and their food supply changed. I think we're going to get wet again. <laughs> going to compare these two. The one on the left is just a little bit larger. The tusks are teeth that extend from the mammoth's mouth. They have growth rings like a tree which help identify the age of the animal at the time of death. The woolly mammoth use the tip of their sensitive trunks to pick and eat delicate buds, flowers and shorter grasses. Mammoths had four giant shoebox sized teeth, two upper and two lower. They grew six sets of teeth with ridges over a lifetime and typically died when their last set of teeth lost the ability to grind up vegetation. This one reminds me of Manny from Ice Age. The woolly mammoth stood about as tall as an Asian elephant. Its skull was also narrower than that of a modern elephant. In addition, its ears were smaller and its tail shorter. Both of these adaptions were to help with extreme cold and to conserve heat. Woolly mammoths had a full coat of fur consisting of a long coarse exterior hair and a short dense layer underneath. There are two fun endings on today's video and remember to tell me how many snakes in today's video as well. Thank you for watching my video. Please stay right on here at Super Fun Reviews for more great videos. See you again soon and one more fun ending to come.
click the colourful super fun reviews button or if you'd like to watch any of the videos just click the one you like and please do remember to share my videos and subscribe thank you